Yes then YouTube, we are back with another custom tactics video on the channel of a formation that I absolutely loved last year. And you know what? Having used it a lot so far on FC24. I love it this year as well, and that is the 433 number 4 variant, so the one that does have the cam in it. Now, the reason that it is very OP is because of the wing play that we have at this moment in time. It is very, very, very effective. So a 433 is actually very, very good. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the tactics. For your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FC24 coins, check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at the checkout for 5% off your order. So you are going to want to use balance on the defensive style. Definitely not press after possession loss or pressure on every touch. Like I've been saying in a lot of my videos at the moment, YouTube, defending is pretty hard at this moment in time on FIFA. And it is. The jockeying is all over the place. If you jockey into the left and your opponent just makes even a slight little movement to the right, your defender will just keep on moving to the left so it, it is very hard to defend so because of that you kind of want to stay away from the pressure on heavy touch and press after possession loss unless you really do feel very 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 comfortable in your defensive abilities if that then is the case then maybe give pressure on every touch a go. But for me right now, I am using Balanced. Also, YouTube, I forgot to mention, drop this video a like for me as well. Drop a comment down below. Remember, I do reply to every single comment. And if you can please hit that subscribe button to my channel as well, that would mean the world to me. So, Balanced on the defensive style. The defensive width is going to be 40. Now, that may seem very, very, very narrow. And it is. But like I've said in a lot of my videos already, being more narrow is exactly the same as last FIFA in terms of you're harder to break down. Your left back is a lot more closer and tighter to your left centre back, meaning you're harder to attack down the left hand side. Your right back is a lot more tighter to your right centre back, meaning you're a lot harder to break down the right hand side as well. And altogether, your back four will be more narrow and compact, meaning there is just less gaps for your opponent to exploit. And when there's less gaps for your opponent to exploit, you're more than likely going to have a lot of success with it. So that is why I'm using 40 width at the moment. The defensive depth, this is where you actually have two options, YouTube. So at this moment in time, I am using 55 depth. But like I just said, there are two options. So I'm using 55 depth because I like to just be a little bit more aggressive, but not as aggressive as I am in some formations. For example, when I'm using a 4 triple 2 or a 4 2 3 one which I will have out soon for you. Because we've got two CDMs, we can afford to be a little bit more aggressive. And that then brings us on nicely to, if you do want to be a little bit more aggressive, you can use 60 depth. So as long as you probably use anywhere from... 50 to 60 depth, you won't really go too far on. But at this moment in time, me personally, on the 4334 variant, I am using balanced 40 width and 55 depth. That's my holy trinity. The offensive build up, of course, is going to be balanced and direct passing. And any of you old gem plea people that are playing on old gem, you can use this exactly the same as well. Normally, last year on old gen, I would recommend long ball and balanced. This year, you do not have to at all. Balanced and direct passing is the way to go it's just as effective on old gen as it is on new gen so balance of diet passing youtube i wish there was just something different to say but I, I just love it and it's very 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 effective one thing i will say actually if you are someone that maybe you find all your players are running away from you maybe just go balance the balance because direct passing does make your players running behind a little bit more than they are when they are on balance so if you're struggling to create opportunities thinking that you don't have many passing lanes or passing options on maybe give balance balance the go but me i'm using balance and direct passing that then brings us nicely onto our offensive width in a 4-3-3 probably the biggest key tactic maybe that is 50 width. I don't touch it. I really, 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 really like where my left wing and my right wing are already. I like where the cam is. I like where the central striker is. I just think the 50 width works absolute wonders. One thing I would say though, actually, if you do want to have your left wing and your right wing be a little bit closer to your striker, which the reason I don't is because how you'll see in a minute on my player instructions, maybe lower it to like a 45 width or something like that. But for me, I, I just like where they are on 50. Um, what's the saying? If it's not broke, don't try and fix it. Like So it works for me, so I'll just leave it on 50. Players in the box, yep. You probably guessed at YouTube, that is going to be seven. The way I look at that is when there is more players in the box, the more likely you are to score a goal, the more chance it is of a ball falling back to your feet for the rebound, stuff like that. Just in general, you're just more likely to score a goal, right? It really just is that simple. And 
if you're going to take anything from the video YouTube, lower your corners and free kicks down from 3-3 three and three to 2-2. Two and two. It's very, very, very important because it stops you getting counter-attacked on from your own corners and free kicks. So, that's the t um, custom tactics. Player instructions coming up. One thing I would say, YouTube, the cam, that's it. Well, the only cam in the 4-3-3, number 4. That is the most important player on the pitch. That player, everything goes through him. So that player probably has to be your best player. Either the camp or the striker definitely needs to be very important. So the first thing you're going to want to do on the player instructions YouTube is the striker. Now the striker is actually on pretty simple settings really when you think about it. The striker is on stay central and get in behind. Very, very, very important, especially the stay central, in my opinion, is because you don't want that striker venturing out from the width of the 18-yard box. You really don't. I just think that it's it's not needed, and you're going to score more goals when your striker is in and around the 18-yard box and in around the penalty, penalty spot. When you think about it, it's kind of just like real-life football in that sense. So that's why I like the stay central. The getting behind also is you want that striker making the runs in behind because even if you don't play the ball to the striker, Imagine that striker is making that run in behind and you don't play him the ball. Think of the, the gap that that then leaves in the cent well, not the, but the central areas of the pitch for your cam to operate in. So you can kind of use it as almost like a dummy run because the AI will kind of track the run from the striker. Think of the gap that then leaves in that spot for your number 10. Very, very, very OP. The left wing and the right wing. Very, very, very important YouTube. So they're on four things. Come back on defense. Cut inside, very important. Get in behind and get into the box for cross. And that is exactly the same on my left wing and my right winger. So come back on defence, cut inside, get in behind and get into the box for cross. The big key two things here, in my opinion, are the getting behind and the getting to the box for cross. You want your left wing and your right wing. If you kind of think about Liverpool when they were very good under Jurgen Klopp, when they were winning Premier Leagues and Champions Leagues, etc., you had Salah on the right, Mane on the left, making them darting runs into the middle of the pitch towards your striker. That is kind of what I've tried to emulate with this custom tactic. I want the left winger and the right winger making them diagonal runs towards the striker, towards the penalty box, because then, then they can get on the end of three balls and they're in on goal. It's very, 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 very effective and something that I think is an absolute no-brainer for YouTube. So definitely do that. The cam, like I said, the most important position on the pitch, YouTube. So you're going to want to have your cam on getting to the box for cross. And this is the key thing right here, free roam. I have never, ever, ever used this on a custom tactics before until now. Normally, I would just have them on stick to position, but my little spreadsheet that I have when I'm doing my custom tactics videos. My expected goals and my goals scored with the 4-3-3-4 went through the roof when I put my cam on free roam. All of a sudden, my cam was just picking up spot, picking up pockets of space on the left-hand side of the pitch, the right-hand side of the pitch. He just had space all the time and he could really hurt my opponent with that. So honestly, give it a go and you will be shocked at how OP and effective it is. The two central midfielders, I kind of use them as CDM. So they are on stay back one attacking and cover centre. So they don't go forward too much. But if I want to have them go forward, I can manually just press the L1 or the R1, well, the L1 button on a pass and trigger them on a forward run. I do that with Musiala a little bit, actually. I trigger him manually in terms of getting him forward. If you do want to have one of your central midfielders a little bit more attacking, though, put the more attack-minded one on balance attack. That will help you out tenfold. That then brings us nicely onto the fullbacks. And there are two ways you can play with the fullbacks in this formation. You can have the way that I have them, which is on balanced attack and overlap. So as the left winger and the right winger make them run centrally towards the centre of the pitch, our left back and our right back will kind of go on the overlap because they are on the overlap run type where they will then go down the byline. So the left winger and the right winger will make the runs into the centre of the pitch, leaving the space on the outside for our left back and our right back to operate in. Because they're only on balanced attack, they won't get forward that much. But... And there is a but. If you are struggling defensively, do put at least one of them, if not both of them, on stay back while attacking. Because even then, they still might get forward a little bit. And they will. They might get forward just ever so slightly. But they won't get forward as much as when they're on balanced attack. So that will help you out defensively. And then last but not least, YouTube, my goalkeeper is on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. And that right there is... My brand new 433 number 4 variant custom tactics for you guys. If you did enjoy this video, YouTube, drop this video a like for me. 
drop a comment down below. Remember, I do reply to every single comment. And if you can please hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love.